All right, so um, Wish I Was Here was a very emotional and funny movie. Um, I want to know as far as Aiden goes, who is Aiden? Because he has a really interesting relationship with his father, his kid's wife, and his brother. Well, Aiden's sort of based on, on me. I wrote this film with my brother, and uh, it's about brothers and fathers and sons, and so it was, he was the perfect person uh, to write the movie with. And Aiden's inspired by, by me, um, and, and sort of a combination of my brother. My brother has two young kids, and, and he's really involved in, in raising them. And um, it's a story about a, a young father who's sort of trying to figure out in 2014 how to provide for his family and still go after his, his lifelong dream. In this case, it's about being an actor, but you know, we, we wanted it to be metaphoric for anyone to insert their own dream that they're going after. Um, how long can one hold on to that while still being a responsible parent and provider for his family? Right, and you spoke about family. Um, you know, there's a lot of articles that I've read that say there's not a lot of strong women characters written in movies, and I feel like Sarah and Grace, played by Kate Hudson and Joey King, like they debunk that. What process did you go in to develop those characters? Well, I love strong women characters, and I agree uh, that there aren't enough of them. And um, Kate Hudson is, is is the matriarch of this family, holding it together, and she loves her husband. Uh, she really supports him. She wants, she believes in him so much, but at a certain point she's like, you know, I, I can't do this alone. I need help. And, um, you know, she's the breadwinner of the whole family. She's taking care of the kids. She's just doing too much. And he's sort of a little bit self or quite selfish and narcissistic. And, and so uh, really Kate's character is the strong woman that pulls this whole family together, but she kind of does it behind the scenes with puppet strings so no one ever really knows it's her. Okay, and speaking of like character development and all that, I looked through, you know, the credits, and I think you forgot to credit one character in there that was very important to the movie, the swear jar. Yeah. The swear jar is really important, and I thought it played a major role in the movie. What did the swear jar symbolize for Aiden? Uh, that's a good question. You know, he, they, they create this swear jar because he curses a lot, and, and they tried to make a rule where he has to put money in the swear jar when he curses, and then he ends up, because they have very little money, and he has no money personally, that the swear jar would be, uh, is sort of, uh, he takes it and starts using it as his wallet uh, to teach the kids as he takes them on these wacky lessons. Um, and for me, it was kind of like he was metaphorically, um, it, it, it showed his change, that he was going back to the well of, of his indiscretions, of his, of his selfishness, of his cursing in front of his kids, uh, all that stuff and taking that money and using it to, to become a better dad. It was like, it, it was, it was, he was going back and cleaning up his mess. You know what I mean? He mm -hmm. was going into the, in the actual jar and pulling out the money, um, but it, it, was, it was taking the transgressions that he's had in the past and making good with them now in the future. Okay, so I think you would need a lot of swear jars to actually fund the movie, but you went through Kickstarter and yeah. did all that. Did you feel any extra pressure with your fans helping fund the movie to make this, you know, a specific type of movie? Oh, of course. I mean, in a normal movie situation, you have like a couple financiers. I had 47,000 people, and they're my fans. And the last thing in the world I wanted to do was let them down because they believed in me. The one thing I felt confident about was that I feel pretty, I feel pretty clear what I think they like. You know, they, they, if they loved Scrubs and they loved Garden State, I felt like. After all these years, I have a pretty good sense of what my the core of my fan base, who those people are, and what they like. Um, so, I guess I felt confident going. I hope that people who, who who haven't seen all my work see this movie, of course. But in terms of the 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 core of the fan base, the people that really supported this, and and I really feel pretty confident they'll like it because I made it for them. Right. So we're running low on time. I have a game that I like to play. It's called One Word. And basically, I'm going to give you a name or a phrase, and you have one word to describe that thing. Okay. Okay. First name, Donald Faison. Handsome. Joey King. Talent. Let's go with Kickstarter. Life-saving, with a hyphen. Garden State. Good. <laughs> Adam Braff. Uh, I, I can only use one word, and you can, you can use, use a few. You can use a few. Okay, Adam Braff, um, one of my best friends slash my brother. All right, and last but not least, wish I was here. Uh, please go see it, July 18th. 